<laughs> like, who here doesn't like cats? Who here doesn't like cats? Honestly, I don't understand people that don't like cats. People that don't like cats are fatherless. <laughs> I mean, this is pretty crazy, right? And I don't mean like her, she is absolutely crazy, but I just mean the fact that you can just buy a cat. I woke up one day as a 25 year old, generally lonely okay. man and thought to myself, can I just buy a cat? I'm like, I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure I can just like purchase a cat and then- Dude, I've been having the same thought about bunnies and birds. <laughs> Ever since I moved back to Germany, I've been having the same thoughts about just bunnies and birds and just fishies and just like getting Getting more pets. I was just thinking, I could just, I could just get a bunny. I could just go to the pet store and get a bunny. I'm not doing it because I have four cats, but I'm thinking like, I could just do it. And a rat, yeah, rats and ferrets. Then I just did that. I went to Pasha. Like literally, I could. Like, chat, literally, I could go off stream right now, get dressed, go to the pet store and come back with a, with a bunny. I could do it right now. <laughs> I literally could do that right, right th this moment. Chicago walked through the door, asked for a cat, and then they just gave me a cat. A whole ass cat. And the process yeah. <laughs> was, I would say, problematically easy. They didn't do a oh. background- Wait, the, the, that show? Cat. The, and that the show? process was, I would no, say, yeah. problematically- no, no, no. Exactly easy. They didn't do a background check. They didn't run my credit score. They didn't call my mom. I didn't even have to watch an informational <laughs> video. You have to watch an informational video when you're playing laser tag. But Wait, well. <laughs> but when you're signing up for an 18 year commitment with a living thing, have fun. Don't bring it back. We don't want it. I've never owned a cat before. A first time cat owner. And to be frank, I used to hate cats. I used to be one of those all the way dog oh, anti-cat people who just I see, thought I cats see, were I inconsiderate see. dick bags with no souls. And Wait, you're not dressed? <laughs> sake I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, they, that. that's kind of what they are but i mean they're also other things they're also uh i mean a lot of what they are is that so listen my goal in this video is to take a staunch dog person and just make them give cats a try just give them a little try take it from me an ex anti-cat hater and someone who is now a proud cat dad oh, and i have to fight baby. the urge to send pictures of her doing nothing to people on snapchat who don't care because that's that's what owning a cat is like i'm becoming Literally. everything i absolutely hate Literally is like that. Literally. I mean, <laughs> chat, <laughs> chat, and YouTubes. As if this is going on YouTubes, <laughs> YouTubes. Um, you're getting exclusive cat pictures if you're a YouTube member. <laughs> you're getting exclusive cat pictures of all of my four cats from on on YouTube, <laughs> on and a YouTube membership. So join the YouTube membership if you want to. Anyway. <laughs> So before I try and convince you that a thing with knives on his hands is worth keeping inside of your home, let's go through the history of the domesticated cat and find out exactly how they went from being assholes outside to assholes inside. Papa. That's so cats have actually lived amongst humans for an insanely long amount of time. There's evidence of cats. Yeah, cats basically domesticated themselves. Cats notice, yo, there's rats near the humans' um, storage stuffs. So let's catch those rats. And then they just stuck around. Hanging around people during the Bible, which was a very long time ago. It was what, 3,700 3, years ago? Which I think that's when the Bible was. I don't know. I'm not going to use dates for the rest of this segment. But people in the Bible part of the world started growing crops and wheat. And that would attract a lot of mice, which attracted no, a lot of cats. No, because cats mean. like three things. Yarn, lasers, and watching the life get snuffed out of little animals in their paws. So. I mean, Chad, you know why the squeaky toys of um, dogs are squeaky? Do you know why the squeaky toy is so squeaky and why dogs like that toy? Because it reminds them of the sound of a dying animal. That's why. Oh, they were really chill on that. So the cats were hanging around the humans because there was a lot of rats to eat and the humans thought it was kind of cool that the cats were eating the rats so they let them hang out and thus began the domestication of the normal house cat. However, this process was not like how we domesticated dogs. It was very different. Like we didn't slowly gain a cat's trust yeah, by giving it food said, and love and shelter and then selectively breeding it over a course of a thousand years to create an unbreakable nope. bond of love. Not at all, actually. The exact opposite. Actually, the experts say, and this is a direct quote out of a scientific journal, um, cats would just kind of chill out the box like that. <laughs> Unlike 
like dogs, cats have genuinely made very little evolutionary changes from when we first started hanging out with them. The only difference between this cat and this cat is this cat thinks humans are kind of neat. That's really the only main difference. The common house cat is just slightly genetically more predisposed to being around humans, which is the most cat shit I've ever heard in my life. So the Bible people were rocking with cats, which got the Egyptians into cats. And as we all know, the Egyptians were actually super into cats. They didn't worship cats though. That's a common misconception. It just happened that the cats shared a lot of traits yeah. that their gods had. So they were like, we're gonna keep these things. They're like the mascots. We're gonna Egyptians are just the original furries change my mind keep these things around so they didn't worship them they actually killed a lot of them they killed a lot of cats for sacrifices to the gods Wait, what? but you know they gave them a lot of chin scratches and treats so it was good while it lasted so while the egyptians were chilling with cats their good buddies the romans saw this going down and they were like i want some of that cat pie so they took them on their ships because they would kill all the rats on the ships which would save them from disease and also their food wouldn't get touched and also you could pet a little thing while you were sailing and that's pretty sick and it just so happened at that time the romans were doing a little thing called building a huge ass empire so they brought those little cats with oh them everywhere God. they went. And that's how, you know, the cat was spread across the world. So yeah, that's how a cat came to be, just like guinea pigs. be a cat. It's still pretty much the exact same killer it was a long time ago, but it just decides to hang around. And I find that admirable. We didn't have to find its yeah. regal ancestor and slowly morph it over thousands of years to be a little anxiety ridden. <laughs> I'm looking at this thing. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but oh, that's not the dog. That's just not a Shaking dog. Shaking shit stain. We got the real deal. This is the real article, and I'm happy about that. I mean, they also sometimes kill a thing and then put it on the kitchen floor for you to admire. But Yay! It all so happy my cats never brought anything home. Like, Kitty used to be going outside while I was still living in Greece, but... Thankfully, she never brought a dead animal home. All things considered, that's pretty tame. The pros and cons of cat ownership. So now that we have learned about the history... Yet? No, she's no longer going outside. I'm no longer living in Greece. I'm living in Germany. And I'm living, like, on a higher floor. I'm not living on ground level floor. And I'm not letting my cats outside here. Three of cats. I think that we are all now in the correct mind space about, you know, maybe buying a cat. Are we not? Now, I'm not going to pretend that owning a cat is all roses and daisies. They can be man. pretty shitty sometimes. A lot of the time, they can be shitty. So I've compiled a list of pros and cons of owning a cat. And I'm going to leave it up to Stinky. the audience to decide Stinky. whether or not they actually should get one. Let's start with a pro. Look at it. Look at the yeah, look look at it. Look oh, whoops, look this at it. This little adorable moron. Oh, oh my god. god. I have foregone years of important therapy oh sessions god. just by looking at this adorable little head and get it. Oh my god. I mean, it's a proven fact that uh cats can reduce uh depression and prevent depression as well. Adorable little shit, so cute, so cute. And an ungodly amount of serotonin. Then we have a con. Um they shit and piss indoors. I do! Unless they're outdoor cats, then they do it outdoors. Usually, if you have an indoor cat, and uh, that's not a great thing. Cats tend to use litter boxes, and you have to have a room to put that litter box in, and if- And you have to clean it! Because automatic- Chat, automatic cat toilets, which I'm going to buy soon, um, are hella expensive. You gotta pay at least 30 bucks, uh, not sorry, 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 300. You gotta pay at least 300 bucks for an automatic cat, bo uh, cat litter box. So either it's that or get shoveling. If you have a big enough house, you can put it pretty far away from you, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a room that smells like cat piss, and that's kind of a bummer. Clean that bitch! If you clean it, it won't stink! <laughs> what do you mean? ...away from you, but at the end of the day, you're gonna have a room that smells like cat piss, and that's kind of a bummer. Pro! Put it in the bathroom! Put it in the bathroom! And what? <laughs> Put it in the bathroom and get proper cat litter, and it won't smell! Uh, people act like they're not snug- Unless you're Armani. Chet, one of my cats, Armani. Is a fucking idiot. Amani is literally retarded. Literally. She has some fucking brain damage, man. This bitch shits behind the cat- uh, Not the cat toilet, sorry. Behind my to toilet. <laughs> this bitch doesn't go into the cat toilet. She goes behind my toilet to take a shit. <laughs> 
and and listen to this right chat listen to this so i was taking a bath the other day it's been a while no since this happened not since i've taken a bath since this happened it's been a while since this happened <laughs> It's been a while now since um, this happened. Um, I was taking a bath. Armani <laughs> was walking into the bathroom. And she was heading straight towards the back of the toilet bowl. She was strutting right there. Strutting? Heading straight right there. And I, I like raised my voice. I was like, Armani! Like calling her out, and she was like, oh, 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 and went to her toilet and sat and took the shit there. So, yeah, <laughs> that I don't understand her. I don't. I don't understand. I, I. I don't understand. <laughs> I just don't, man. I just don't. <laughs> but they can be very snuggly. It's not like a dog where you pick a specific breed and you can decide which emotion sliders it has like the beginning of a Skyrim run. Cats are a bit of a crapshoot, but when you go to pick one up, you can kind of, you know, catch the vibe. If you have a kid- uh, Yeah, all cats, like, you can instantly see the kind of vibe a cat has, man. A uh, cat usually remembers the last place they used to shit pee. They'll come back to that place multiple times until you catch them doing it and put them in the different place that you want to. to. Oh! So I need to pay attention when she's going to take a shit now? Kitten, kittens change pretty rapidly in their... Also, yeah, cats have a vastly different fucking personalities man all my cats are vastly different you no know, personality but if you're always picking it up and giving it little sweet kisses you know and giving it pets it'll, it'll like people more so that's a good way to do that they don't pop out of the box in love mode uh, well, uh mine did i got lucky with that but you know you can coach it on being a good little pet so well, tommy for example Tommy came out of the box being a fucking sweetheart man oh tommy is such a sweetheart who are you? Boy, sorry if I just sneezed onto the mic. Didn't mean to spread my germs all over you, step chat. <laughs> um, Tommy has been adorable since the start, man. Oh, what a, an adorable little boy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You can make them snuggly, but a con in the same vein, uh, you can't train them. Uh, and Tucker, why would I want to train a cat? Uh, because you can't train a cat. But clicker training, the same you, vein. Can. Uh, you can. It's just train three. Them. You can, but not really. <laughs> yes, you can. You can. It just takes a lot. It just takes a lot. Tommy used to be very skittish. Yes, he used to be very, very skittish. But he was always a very loving boy. He would never attack you with claws or anything. Uh, and Tucker, why would I want to train a cat? Uh, because, viewer, they're gonna do some shit that you fucking hate. I mean, they'll scratch your furniture, they'll scratch yeah. you, and they'll get to places they shouldn't yeah. be, they'll get to places yeah. you didn't know existed. Yeah. They'll jump out yeah. from under furniture and attack yeah. you right now all hours of the day with no warning. They'll sit on your yeah. chest at 3 a.m. and scream yeah. because they're hungry, or because they're bored, yeah. or both. No one really knows yeah. why they do that. And that's just something you kind of have to deal with, because you- <laughs> Literally, on stream, just somebody, meow, meow, meow. You can't really train them. So, uh, I just gave a lot of negatives. I'm gonna have to balance the checkbook on this one. All right, rapid fire pros. Number one, they are, as I mentioned before, very low maintenance. You don't have to take them on walks. You don't have to take them to the groomers. You don't have to pick up that hot dog shit off the sidewalk in front of a bunch of strangers. They'll yeah. just be in your bedroom doing backflips until they get sleepy. Number two, if you have one for a while, it will imprint on you, which means it won't give a shit about any other human besides you. And that's the biggest ego boost you could ever have. Dog yeah, like a cat that has bonded with you, that is... Uh, bro, it's one of the most beautiful things you will ever experience, man. Like a loving cat, a cat that has chosen you. Oh my god, you ca I, I can't even to begin to describe how amazing that feels. Bro, it's, it, it's just something you gotta experience for yourself, man. Unless they are around another human for a good amount of time? Yeah, I guess so. Oh my god, Sherlock, you look dead. Sherlock. 
still be happy to see anyone. That's just who they are. And it's not special when they're doing that. When a cat is seeing you and they're excited, that's special. That makes you feel like a goddamn god. Yeah. You can also, for some reason, name a cat whatever you want. There are no naming conventions when you name a cat. Dogs usually follow some relative guidelines like Bosco or Luna or fucking Tucker. With cats, the sky's the limit. I met a cat named Bucket once. I met a cat named James Dean. <laughs> My cats are called Kitty, Sherlock, Amani, and Tommy. Then I had a cat who used to be called Nemo. I had a cat uh, called Johnny. I had a cat called Ari. Uh, without the H, not like the League of Legends, it was from Ares, because uh, my ex thought uh, the cat was a male first, but it was a female, so it was changed from Ares to Ari. Um, the first cat my family ever had was called Minka. Uh, then I had three cat babies who were called Felina, Bob, and Aurum. Yeah, that, that's all the cats I had ever owned, I guess. Once. I met a cat named Sponge Number Two. I don't even know what happened to Sponge Number One. Oh, and also, cats don't bark. They never bark. You don't understand how- The how- They do that instead. How shitty barking is until you get away from barking. Someone's at the door and all of a sudden there is a fireworks show worth of sound going off in your living room because a dog is too stupid to understand that it's dad again. It's gonna be dad, you know? You can train a dog to not bark at the door. You can train a dog to not bark at the door though, man. That's just a fucking skill issue on the owner's part. Like, I'm gonna be honest, that's just a skill issue. Oh, it's dad. And finally, the biggest pro of having a cat is... You just gotta, you gotta get a cat to know. Yeah. And I know that's annoying. Just it's just really hard to explain the joy of having a cat unless you have a cat. And I know that sounds He's like right. I'm trying to get you into a cult, and I kind of am, but you gotta just trust <laughs> me. Right, I, don't, I don't know if I made any progress in that, in that segment. I, I lost my virginity while listening to Alvin Flames. Nice. I think I might be actually still in the negative, but uh, moving on. Part three. Oh god, I'm not doing a good job explaining this. I promise they're actually really cool. I'm just not very good at words, but I promise they're super fun and they are actually worth buying. I agree. <laughs> so I don't think I did a good job in that last segment, so I, I, I have to do plan B. I have quickly googled some famous cats. Uh, and oh! Of some famous cats! Chat, go! Name some famous cats! Grumpy Cat? Uh, piano Cat? Uh, a uh, 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 bop, little bop, Garfield, yeah, Garfield was a cartoon cat, uh, Bongo cat, yeah, 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 what other cats, Beluga cat, I don't think I know that one, Jumbo, Nyan Nyan, oh yeah, Nyan 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 Jumbo? Who's Jumbo? Jumbo cat. Oh! 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 Uni! Yes! Uni the cat! Jumbo! That's, that's, um, fucking... Fucking, freaking, 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 freaking... Schlatz cat! The Schlatz cat! <coughs> Puss in Boots? Yeah! Pizza Ninja cats! I'm gonna show you them, and you're gonna be like, wow, cats are actually pretty dope. We all know oh famous God, dogs, this, this one, or perhaps this one, but we don't know enough about famous cats, so I think well, I should point that out. Number one, we have Stubbs. Stubbs was the mayor of an Alaskan town from 1997 to 2017. That is a the business ass. Whoa, the cat was the mayor! Cat. He would just walk around town, everyone loved him. They would give him free food, sometimes people would serve him uh, catnip laced margaritas. And he would drink that. I don't know. People in Alaska are weird, but that's special. That's something special that people have with that cat. Sadly, Stubbs is dead now. Uh, oh. Rip a homie. Then we have Tommy the cat, who it was so dope that he called 911 when his owner. Uh, what what happened? They fell down. They fell out of the wheelchair. I don't think a dog has ever called 911 for their owner. I don't think that's happened once. Maybe it has. Maybe there's some like things. I'm sure it actually has. They've been trained to do a lot of shit. But the yeah. uh, cat did it too, so that's special. Then we have Alexis, who is apparently the smartest cat in the world according to Guinness Book of World Records. She knows oh. exactly 26 tricks, which is the most a cat has ever learned. Yo. And I know that dogs know uh, can know a lot more tricks than that. Um, <laughs> fuck, dude. 
that's not a good one. I mean, there's not a lot of other cats that are famous. I mean, there's this uh, that you everyone knows this one, but yeah, I, I think cat. that would bed too. Yeah, grumpy cat passed. Rest in peace, grumper. But why? All right, guys. So this video is not going well, and at this point, I feel like the jig is up. I mean, there's a lot of stuff I've even been neglecting to say about cats, and even then, it's, it hasn't been looking good. I mean, I haven't even brought up the fact about how house cats have made 63 species of birds go extinct. Um, I haven't touched on that, but I might. Um. Yeah, I don't think we should touch upon that in a cat positive video. It doesn't shine that much of a positive light upon them. As well now, I haven't even talked about toxoplasm, which is whenever you breathe in cat poop particles and it affects your nervous system to the what? point where people who own cats and motorcycles are more likely to get into car accidents because they have high risk taking behaviors, which is crazy to think about. I haven't talked about how cats are five times less loyal than dogs, scientifically. They don't Abandon, scatter, chat. We need to scatter. I don't really give a shit that much. I haven't even discussed how cats can create infertility in women. That's what? a real thing that I just discovered. And I haven't even discussed the fact that cats don't look at you as like a bigger, superior creature. They look at you as a big, <laughs> dumbass cat. Yeah, they see you as part of your family. Uh, I think that's adorable. Like, dogs look up at you as like a god. But cats? Cats just think you're just a naked cat. And I think that's wholesome. That is really, really wholesome. Which is why they're always bringing you dead animals, because they're like, this motherfucker's not hunting, he's gonna starve to death. And <laughs> I think that's so wholesome, man! The worst part of all that is... It's still worth it to get a cat, and I can't explain why. They're fan-fucking-tastic. I don't care what you say. I don't care how mean you are to me in the comments. I don't care about your dogs. I don't care about how much they love you. My cat is special. <coughs> they are. And your yep. cat is special, too. And fuck these yep. dog people. They don't, they don't understand the bond we have. Life is all about being <laughs> blindly loyal to something that probably doesn't even care about you. I mean, that's what Christianity is. That was dark. So go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe, that's and right. please check out the comments. Even though that, uh, even though that was dark, he is right. He's right. I'm sure a cat owner will be able to describe why it's good to own a cat way better than I did. New videos every Friday. Thank you for watching. Thank you for 900,000 subscribers. Just oh. buy a fucking cat. Buy a cat. They kill them if you don't buy them. Please, buy a cat. That's so sad to think about. Dogs. Oh, whoops. Whoops. That was a good video. Holy shit. I... Wow. Speaking of, I have a I have a picture to show. I have a picture to show, chat. <laughs> Give me a moment. Give me a moment. In relations of this, in relations of this video, I have a picture to show. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this chat. <laughs> Kitten up for adoption. It doesn't bother me or anything. It's just that I don't understand how he could kill that big rat. And the truth is that it scares me. Today it was the rat. Tomorrow it could be me. <laughs> how did he do that? That rat is almost twice the size of that kitten, man. Holy shit. <gasps> Holy fucking shit. Terminator cat, yeah. Have you seen that video of the kitten eating raw meat to do music? Yes, yes I have. <laughs> built different, built different and fucking fact. In fact. Um I have another picture to show. Here, beautiful cat sandwich. Don't you think, chat? A beautiful cat sandwich. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Thanks for watching, YouTubes. See you next video. Uh